Palazzo Caetani, also known as the Prince's Palace, is a remarkable example of Mediterranean Renaissance architecture and, as the name implies, it was the main residence of the feudal lords, that is, the Caetani and the Colonna Gonzaga. Perhaps, along with the castle, its construction was begun under the first real domination of the city by the Dell'Aquila family, under whom, after the turn of the first millennium, Fondi again began to take on the semblance of a city with a major political and economic role in the district. The Caetani continued the work of the Dell'Aquila in enhancing the city with monuments and art. The cultural ferment at its heart during the government of Giulia Gonzaga ensured that Fondi earned its description as Italy's Little Athens. The partially restored palace displays distinctive architectural elements. A door very much in the Duress style under the Angevins, examples of which are seen in the city and the medieval quarter of Gaeta, and an arched arcade on the first floor, access to which is gained from the picturesque courtyard by an external staircase. However, the most characteristic part of the residence is the fanciful decoration of the elegant single and double windows, two inside the courtyard and two outside, partly damaged during the Second World War, that are formed in the upper part by a slab of soft stone with fine tracery that looks like lavish embroidery. Acquiring it after the Angevin invasion of 1464, Honorato II, a powerful and wealthy figure, wanted to make his residence more commensurate with his new status and summoned craftsmen and foreign artists from Naples and Gaeta. The Catalan, Matteo Forcimagna, is attributed with the new elegance of the lines and ornaments, splendid examples of Italo-Catalan art, a style also seen in certain buildings in Gaeta, Sessa, Carinola and Capua. The date of the reconstruction of the palace is ascribed to the period 1466 to 1477. In fact, it was in 1466 that Ferrante I granted the Count of Fondi the privilege of bearing the surname and the coat of arms of the House of Aragon. This is why the coat of arms of the Caetani joined with those of Aragon were depicted on the fireplaces and the rose windows of the ceilings. The building, which formed part of the fortified city walls, the remains of which can still be seen on the ring road, was rebuilt on the ancient walls in the area between the castle wall and St. Peter's Church. The fortress was joined to the palace by the arch that formed the gate of the city leading to Naples and a wooden bridge, as can be seen in the Annunciazione painted by Cristoforo Scacco in 1499, today preserved in the adjacent Duomo di San Pietro. The bridge was recently reconstructed based on the features of the original. Inside, the palace must have been filled with frescoes and decorations. Many of the artworks vanished during the catastrophic events over the centuries. The great halls of the palace with their 15th century ceilings with wooden beams, carved in the shape of fantastic human and animal telemons, were replaced in 1925 by iron girders and brick arches. However, fragments remain of frescoes in some rooms that reveal the work of a very sophisticated artist. The palace, which has recently been restored, is now the venue for exhibitions, conferences and events. <laughs>